AR Car Reviews here with another video and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the 2017 Honda Civic EX. So guys be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe to stay tuned for more car related content. Alright guys, starting with the exterior of the Civic, I always think the car looks very stylish in a simple yet subtle way. The 10th generation Civic first came out in 2015 and Honda did an amazing job designing this car. The hood, wheels and side profile of the car all work together to make the car look premium while still being an affordable compact sedan. Coming to the front of the Civic, we have a chrome brow that stretches from headlight to headlight that helps to make the car look sportier along with LED running lights that look really clean. The low beam lights comes with halogen bulbs that are very dim, but replacing them with LED bulbs increases visibility and makes them look so much better. The side of the Civic has a caved in look at the rocker panel and a line running through the door handles to the back of the car that really accentuates the car's curves. The back of the Civic EX is fitted with the Honda logo and the word Civic written across the left side of the trunk. The taillights are a really high point of this car. They look really nice especially in the dark and it almost looks like Honda styled it to look like a C for Civic. Powering the 10th generation Civic is a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder engine making roughly 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. Even though this car is very low on power, it is also very low on weight, coming in at under 2,800 pounds, making the 160 horsepower more than enough to make the car feel zippy while still providing amazing fuel economy. Each trim of the Civic is fitted with a different set of wheels and the EX comes standard with these 16x7 inch alloy wheels that fit the car's design very well and looks great while driving. Now moving inside of the car, the interior of the Honda Civic looks great. It has a very simple and minimalist design, which is one of the reasons why the Civic is one of the most desired cars on the road, with a price tag that won't leave you stressed. In 2021, I purchased this car for $17,000, which is absolutely unheard of today, and I think it was an amazing decision to make. The EX trim of the Civic comes with a lot of excellent features that are a good bargain for the price, and it really makes you question getting more expensive cars that make you pay more for the basic features found on this one. On the Civic, you get keyless ignition as long as the key is in the car, which allows you to start and stop the car with just the touch of a button. Now if you guys are wondering what happens when you leave your keys in the trunk or take them out of the car while the car is still in drive, Honda thought about that and automatically unlocks the trunk as it closes letting you know Something ain't right. While taking the keys out of the car, you can still drive fine, but the car will beep and give you a message that the key is not detected. The keys of the Civic EX look very premium and is the same keys used for the higher end Acura cars with just the Honda logo printed on the back. The Civic also has keyless entry and lock, as long as the key is within 32 inches from the door. You can touch on the handle to open the two front doors or touch this button to close all the doors without even using the key fob. Something you do have to use the key fob for is the remote start feature, which only lasts for 10 minutes and is done by pressing the lock button and then holding the remote start button for 5 seconds. Other features are a one-touch sunroof, automatic up-down front windows, a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, and of course, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on a 7-inch touchscreen. Some of my favorite features is the ability to unlock all of the windows with just the press of a button. Holding the unlock button does this, which is a really great feature to have on a really hot day and is not too common at this price point. You can also lock all of the windows of the car by using the key which is hidden in the key fob by this slider, then turning the key counterclockwise once and then again, while holding it the second time. The absolute best feature on this car would have to be the lane watch technology. This is a camera integrated into the passenger side view mirror that turns on every time you switch your right turn signal on or by pressing this button. This is great for new drivers to feel more confident and even comes with reference lines to see how much space there is between you and the car beside you. 
This also helps out bikers and pedestrians that may get too close to your car without you knowing. Even though it is very convenient, I would still recommend looking back to double check and it can be turned off in the settings menu. Looking at the center console of the EX, it is equipped with three buttons around the gear shifter, brake hold, the electronic parking brake, and the econ mode button. The purpose of the brake hold button is to hold the car in place while the car is in drive. This helps out in traffic and at long red lights where instead of the driver holding the car in place, you can press this button and relax. To activate brake hold, put the car in drive, have your seatbelt on, and push the button. When the driver stops the car by braking, a green hold light comes on to the right of the dashboard, letting you know you can remove your foot off of the brake. To keep driving, just hit the gas and the car will take off. To turn brake hold off, push the brake pedal in and press the button again. Simple. The parking brake for the Civic is electronic and can be easily activated by pulling up on the button and pushing the brake in at the same time. To disengage the parking brake, place your foot on the brake and push the button down. The last button on the Civic Center console is the Econ Mode button, which limits the car's power in order to save as much fuel as possible. Speaking of fuel, this car has amazing fuel economy, being that it is a front-wheel drive, naturally aspirated, four-cylinder, compact car, getting 31 mpgs in the city and 40 mpgs on the highway. Living in New York City, you will definitely get less, but you can always try if you want. When you do need to fill up on gas and realize you don't know where the pulley is that opens the gas tank, before you start to panic, you should know that this car doesn't have anything to pull. If the car is unlocked and you press on the gas cap, it opens so you can easily get gas. Whenever the car is locked, the gas cap does also so that no one can siphon gas or mess with your car while you're away. The Civic also has a capless gas tank so you don't have to twist the cap closed and open every time you fill up. The overall design of the interior is unique, with a lot of different colors and themes blending with one another, which doesn't look bad, but an all black interior would easily look better for the car. The white seats on the EX look great and are very comfortable, but since they are cloth, they get dirty and can stain very easily. Personally, I would only keep the interior with only one color or theme, which is exactly what Honda did with their latest model Civics, and it is a great improvement. Moving to the trunk of the Civic, it is actually really large for a compact sedan, and it is able to fit a lot of cargo with no problem. Usually compact sedans have a lot less seating room or trunk space, but the Civic doesn't have this problem, making it really easy to daily drive. For the drivers that want more trunk space, the seats come down in a 60-40 split for a little extra space, and there is also a hatchback version of the Civic that has even more trunk space than the sedan. Looking at the trunk carpeting, there is a darker piece cut out in the middle section and when you lift it up, it reveals the car's spare tire and tire replacement kit, which will definitely come in handy and is a good kit to have in any car. Sitting in the front seat of the Civic, it is surprisingly roomy for a tall driver like me. For manual seats, there is an ample amount of leg space and head space for a compact car, which I found really surprising. Being able to move the steering wheel and the seat, just about anyone can find a decent position to be comfy in. Sitting in the back seat of the Civic and leaving the front seat in my driving position was somewhat decent. I was able to fit in the car fine, but wouldn't want to sit there for any trip longer than an hour at a time. Storage space in the Civic is utilized well, with the slider to move around a small tray and two cup holders. Going underneath the sliders reveals a third cup holder and a small space for objects. The best part of the center storage unit is that the sliders can come out of the box which makes it really easy to clean and live with. Underneath all of that, there is a mat that pays homage to Honda's humble heritage as a motorsports company, which is a really cool easter egg to have in the car. The Honda Civic has the regular P, R, N, D gears along with S and L. The S gear is a Civic Sport mode which squeezes all of the power out of the engine at a higher RPM. The L gear is the low gear, which provides more power at a lower RPM for climbing insane hills and towing, although I don't think anybody should be towing in their Civic. Now let's buckle up, hit the road, and see how the Civic drives on these cold New York City streets. Alright guys, today we are driving the 2017 Honda Civic EX. And my first initial thoughts on this car when I first got it is that it's a well-rounded car. Everything about this car is really nice, it's put together, and it makes living very easy. You have it in drive and eco. And eco or econ mode, it specifically helps you to just save gas whenever you're driving. It definitely does feel a lot more economical. And I think 
for everyday driving around the city that's this is where most people are gonna going to put the car in taking it off of econ mode you definitely feel the car pick up a lot more it feels a lot more zippier now in most cars you have a sport mode button similar to the econ mode button but in this car instead of having a button it's actually a gear so being a part of the cvt if you downshift from drive to s it goes into sport mode so right off the bat you definitely feel the car holding the revs a lot better and for 150 horsepower it really doesn't feel like it uh, honda vtec definitely makes it feel a lot sportier and it's actually very impressive all right guys we are on the highway so before we get on the highway i'm going to try to do a little pull right now the car is doing 30 so we're going to get on it in three two one It definitely does feel it feels really good the four liter naturally aspirated engine feels good um honda definitely did their thing on this car living in new york city the civic is definitely one of the best cars you could own it has good fuel economy decent trunk space and seats five comfortably while still being an affordably sized compact sedan in addition to that, reliability is what these cars are known for, with a lot of the Civics crossing over the 300,000 mileage mark with just oil changes. Now that these cars are getting more popular, it is increasingly harder to find one of these used in a good condition and at a good price. And when you do find one of these, be careful, these cars have a reputation of being the third most stolen car in America because they are so high in demand. Alright guys, this is AR Car Reviews and I hope you've enjoyed this video if you made it this far. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also, put down below in the comments how do you think I did, how was this review, um, and what car do you want me to, see, to review next? And I'll see what I can do. But, till next time, AR, out.